Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This is what we're talking about today, that loading screen right there, future stars, right? We're gonna talk about some ways to prepare, ways I think the market will react in the couple next couple of days before future stars actually comes out, and some of the hints that we can kind of derive from this loading screen. Cause earlier today, he put out this loading screen with the car design, which is a very different, very new car design, but there's some dates and some coordinates on two spots of this loading screen, which has enabled some people to take some guesses at what cards might be in as a part of this promo and a couple of those guys names are lunin lampty diallo kulusevsky so some big name youngsters of course kulusevsky for uh piemonte calcio white shirt probably a dynamic image coming in with that card diallo from manchester united so those are some big name guys youngsters from big name clubs from those coordinates that were added but i want to take a look at some predictions today i want to take a look at some stuff ea has been doing maybe giving us a hint at what card we might be getting on friday uh and just kind of how i think this promo is going to look and how i think the market is going to react because again Think about the place that we are in in the market right now. A lot of stuff is very high. We have rewards today. That might push the market up a little bit more in some areas for sure. Um, and it's almost just like, again, we're post team of the year market and everything is just super duper high in price. Cars that we thought would never reach a million coins like Kyle Walker's Inform. This dude's like 1.05 million coins and he was like 500K when he was in packs. Crazy, right? So without further ado, I'm gonna take a look at some of these predictions brought to you by Yaz, right? I'm gonna link this guy down below, one of my favorite graphic designers that does a lot of stuff with me for FIFA. Uh, these are some of the predictions he made. He made a team one and a team two prediction. Now again, going off of the past years, obviously in FIFA 19, we didn't really have the two team promos like we have had this year and in FIFA 20. Uh, so I would imagine that they would rock a two week promo for future stars as well, because they know this is one of the promos in FIFA every year that so many people look forward to because it is fun. It's different. It's fun. These are some youngsters that a lot of people know they're excited about in the next couple of years that will be, you know, making it into the first team for their respective clubs. Some of these guys already do. And just the stat boosts are what is honestly so incredible to look at. You have guys from last year's Future Stars team that had silver base cards and are getting plus 20 uh, in stats around their cards. So that's something to kind of keep an eye on. So in Team 1 prediction, we have Ansu Fati, uh, Saka, Reyna, Xerxes, James Jones, uh, among some of the others. I think Jones, James, Reyna, Saka, and Fati. I think Ansu Fati is going to be the FIFA 19 equivalent of Vinny Jr., the 92 rated card um, that was released that year. And if you kind of take a look at this, right, if you, if you look at the ratings, a lot of these guys are 85, 86, and above. We have a lot of 90s. We have a lot of 88s, 89s. They really juice these cards out, right? That's the most fun about Future Stars is that we're going to be getting some really, really insane cards. And again, if you look at these stats, right, a right wing soccer with 99 pace, 90 dribbling, 89 uh, passing Fatih, right, who made waves earlier in FIFA with his player of the month and his inform, 98 pace. Um, this uh, this Cherokee card right here kind of reminds me of like the Ikone last year. That's a sick looking card. Curtis Jones as a midfielder would be more of like a box to box type player. You know, that's uh, as of a team one prediction, that one looks pretty sick right there. There's a lot of big names in here that we think could be in. Now, team two. Uh, we have some Ruben Diaz, right? We have a couple options for center backs from the Prem that could be very, very interesting uh, from this promo. Uh, Serginho Dest is somebody that a lot of us Americans are looking forward to seeing as a part of this promo, possibly Anthony from Ajax. Um, and then Todibo. Diallo, of course, who we talked about, might be already kind of leaked according to the loading screen. Kamavinga is somebody a lot of people want to see as well. Pedri and Gravenberch, who already has that card, uh, the objective card in FIFA as well, already had those there. So there's a lot of, the, the, one of the coolest thing about Future Stars is looking at predictions like this because there's just so many cards and so many players that could get in, so many players that we want to get in, right? Now, the one thing I hope they bring back this year is the tiered objectives. And they did this last year with Odegaard. I don't know if you guys remember, but we had this play them, upgrade them was what they called this, right? Odegaard, you had the, th the four different cards before you got to the final 87 rated. I really, really hope that they do something like that this year. Now he's got Shibodasai uh, as the example right now. 
but this was a a new thing that came out last year and we have not seen it like since i think we saw it in um summer showdown with some of the, sh the showdown cards um but we haven't seen this uh, objective content type thing in a while so i'm really really hoping that we do get some of that this year as a part of the fifa 21 promotion so there's a prediction with some of the cards that could be in now of course this is just a prediction right this is nothing that's guaranteed nothing set in stone and there's so many youngsters that are out there that ea could pick and choose to put into these teams uh that the options are honestly they're honestly pretty endless now one thing we did see already is that ea has been kind of uh taking a career mode twist to this which is kind of cool in a sense um they said we i think we might have looked at this on yesterday's video but we looked at it on the stream for sure we are sending a future star talent scout out to help us identify what player should be in a future star sbc the england won the vote one day ago on february 2nd february 3rd yesterday uh, then they said our scouts locked in on the best English future stars, right? So they're in England, but they need our help with the position. And they said they pos the position you focus on, the resulting vote winning player SBC will go live this weekend. So we are either going to get a left back English uh, player as a future stars SBC or a striker, which it looks like right now after a hundred thousand votes, striker is going to be winning. Of course, people love their attacking options. In FIFA, so watch out for a English striker. Shea Adams is one of the cards I think people were expecting to see after this vote as a possible SBC winner for a future stars card. Now, of course, how does this affect the market? Now, there's a lot of ways you can kind of look at this, right? Since the the market on what we would call the mid tier right now, it's just very very high in FIFA, right? You have some cards that probably should not be as high priced as they are in this game. Um, now going for some examples, you have some of these live items, some of these road to the finals, and even some of these freeze cards and team, the group stages that just seem very, very expensive. They've gone up crazy, crazy amounts in price. And it was kind of just because there wasn't a lot of special cards, maybe to link a certain player or whatever. Uh, and I think, and a lot of people have agreed with me on this and we've talked, we think that this promo with these future stars cards is going to kind of keep in check the mid-tier section, the mid-tier market of this game. So that'd be cards probably like, you know, 250K to a million coins is what I would call like the mid-tier market in this game because some stuff is just very, very inflated. Now, of course, it's up because of SBC links and there's some of that that's involved there. But uh, a lot of cards also just seem to be uh, just inflated and very high in general and kind of high beyond their means, right? Too, a little bit too high for what we honestly think is correct. So... Um, I think there could be a little bit of panic selling, especially today on Thursday. We'll probably get a couple of names or a couple of stats on the loading screen. You know what they like to do with this loading screen is they like to update it. And again, future stars, as far as I can remember, FIFA 19 was the first year we had it. And we were like, what in the world is going on with future stars? Like, what is this promo? And then FIFA 20, both of the past two years, and it looks like this year as well, they've done multiple loading screens leading up to the promo because there's so much speculation, like which young star is gonna get in to this promo. Now, I don't know what you guys think about the car design. It's different, right? It's very different from the car designs of past. Uh, if we take a look at FIFA 19 and FIFA 20 again, just to kind of look at what we're expecting, FIFA 19 car design, there's a lot of like purple. Last year, it was like kind of the pink and purple getting involved with both of those. Um, but basically, again, just to kind of run through this is that I think they use the rule. It has to be under 23. It has to be under 23 is what they, um, the brightest young prospects in football have massive ratings boosts. Uh, and they, I think they have a U23 is like the age cap on those cards. Now I want to take a look back and show you some of the prices from last year in FIFA 20 of these cards, because you also have to think about where we are at in terms of the FIFA calendar and the amount of coins that people have right now. These cards are going to come on the market and people are going to have a lot of coins to pay for them. I remember this Tonali card was over a million coins easily right away at the start. You can see first day 1.2 mil dropping in packs all the way to 916k rebounding up a little bit in the next week and then kind of going down into later february uh as that card was a little bit too expensive uh and then you had this joao felix last year who came onto the scene as a really cracked out card 2.7 million coins right these cards some of these really big time cards like if we talk about this ansu fati right 
Ansu Fati, this card's probably going to be somewhere around the high 1 mil range, maybe even be 2 million coins, because those these stats, right? If you look at these stats too, these statistics they're putting on these cards are team of the season level, not quite, or sorry, not team of the season, team of the year level. These are like insane, insane statistics. Uh, and it, it's kind of a really good promo to follow up team of the year with because you start with team of the year cards that are very like out of reach for most people on the game. They're over a million coins except for the goalkeeper, but they have like 90s and high 80s for all their statistics, right? And you take a look at these cards and there's a lot of high 80s. There's some 90s, and but they're just a little bit cheaper because the pack weight is more, of course, and there's more of them being released out into the game. Uh, so, you know, like these cards were expensive, right? These these guys are going to be pricey. And what it's got, what that's going to do is if people want to get them in their teams, this green was 1.2 mil, right? People are going to have to sell some stuff to maybe afford a few of these cards, maybe a couple things, right? Just sell a couple things um, to, to afford some of these new items. So I do think, right? I do think the more hype that builds around this promo, I think you'll see a little bit of panic selling headed into the day on Friday morning on a promo Friday, right? Some of the stuff that has just become astronomically overpriced, uh, some of these live headliner cards, right? Joao Felix, 830K. Yes, it's still live, but the streak on that card has been active. Bruno Fernandez, you know, is really, really high as well. This Bombas, 500K. Um, you know, I do feel like on some areas of the market, now one place that I would kind of watch is the areas that people have invested in already, which would be these road to the final uh, cards, um, definitely watch these guys. And if you invested in them, I would not I would not say that it'd be a terrible idea to maybe cash out on some of them before the promo happens this weekend. Because as we've already seen, uh, and as I've heard people kind of talk about as well, there's a possibility that EA comes out and Future Stars is is low key a better promo than team of the year in terms of the upgrade packs we're going to be getting upgrade packs they always always release those when there's a promo team that is out so i would expect that but uh with the sbc content and the objective content i mean it's not out of the realm of possibility that we would see um some co the content being quote unquote better than during team of the year, which is kind of crazy to think about and seems a bit backwards when team of the year is like the best promo of the year or the most important, or I guess the most prestigious promo of the year. So, I mean, I think this next week is going to be a really, really hype week. There's going to be a lot of cards that a lot of people want to try. And, you know, we looked at last year and last year, there wasn't a ton of panic selling on the market for cards that came out as a part of the team. Like last year, the Greenwood SBC or the Greenwood card came out, right? We didn't really see a lot of panic selling in most areas, like where these cards would be a substitute good um, for most cards. Now, some cards are going to take a hit in price, but I feel like that might be a bit different this year because one thing we've learned about the market this year is people like panic sell at like a moment's notice if they see something huge is coming or big cards are coming. And also people are so quick to sell cards to go upgrade their team. Think about what just happened earlier this week. We had the Cristiano Ronaldo SBC that a lot of people did with the Boateng SBC that a lot of people did. What happens after that? EA drops this Wayne Rooney SBC and now you have people trying to fit this Wayne Rooney in and some people are just scrapping the entire idea. I mean, just remember like a month ago, everybody was running Robin and Kleiber. Since then, now we've moved on, right? People don't use Robin and Kleiber that much anymore. Uh, and it's again, everybody in FIFA and everybody in this game, this is the way EA wants you to feel because they want you to interact with the content all the time is they want you constantly changing your team. They want you constantly going in for the new card, right? Wayne Rooney is hot right now. English links are hot at the moment. Now, there's still some hype for Serie A and Bundesliga, but a lot of that focus has shipped, shifted to Wayne Rooney as well. And EA wants to continue that, right? I mean, one thing, a lot of people are on this Alfonso Davies kick with his team of the year card. Now, one SBC that we might see and this is just this is just thinking. This is be one way where I think EA could really um, make some market movements and possibly make people lose coins, which in, in turn possibly make EA money. Right? That's the kind of way you have to think about this. Is a Furlan Mendy flashback SBC to his future stars in FIFA 19. That would be an SBC since he was a future star in FIFA 19 when it was on Lyon. 
that would be an SBC that people would go bananas for, right? Another left back SBC that would be expensive. Um, you know, a flashback card that a lot of people want to do with those French links, with those Real Madrid links. Um, that would be a, a card that a lot of people would want to go after. So something like that is content that we could very easily see during this promo right now. Of course, I think Yaz had this in his predictions as well. He was he was throwing something out here about a another Messi type SBC, right? Kind of a flashback to a time in Messi's career here for this example, where Messi was quote unquote a future star, right? A, a long time ago, um, when our stars of this day were younger, kind of like how we had the Ronaldo SBC in his first couple of years when he was at Manchester United, right? Stuff like that. Could we see another flashback SBC kind of like Ronaldo? I guess it's possible. I honestly don't think that's going to happen, but hey, EA can do anything they want uh, with that. Now, again, we will have some sort of objective player that I'm not worried about. I just hope it's that tiered objective like before. But as we head into this weekend, these are some of my preliminary thoughts about this weekend. Um, I don't think you'll see like a ton of market crashing on the high tier end. Some of your icons, some of your team of the year cards, you might see some dips in price, but I don't think you're really going to see crashing, right? The crashing and the undercutting and the panic selling that I could see being the most probable might be on some of these road to the final players because uh, people have invested in them and they're waiting for Champions League games to happen before they, you know, hopefully sell these cards, make their profit and, or they get upgraded and that's when they sell. But we're still about, you know, two weeks away from some of those games or 10 days away. Um, some people might feel like they need to offload their investments so that they have coins to go do things or, you know, get involved with the new SBCs or try out the new cards. And again, like I mentioned earlier, I just feel like this year, so many people are willing to just drop whatever they have in their team at a moment to go try out new cards. So I do feel like there could be a bit of a drop off in the market. But then again, with so many coins being on the game right now, I feel like there's a incredible opportunity for a lot of this stuff to really bounce again after this Friday, right? Icons, baby icons are going to be a, an area of the market where it might not drop a ton. But if there are drops, you know, especially on some of these these English baby icons like Beckham, like Rio Ferdinand, these guys are that are really rare. This guy's 1.4 mil right now for this baby Rio. He was like 1.2 on the weekend. Uh, baby Beckham, 87 rated card was like 900K. He's now 1.3 million coins selling on the market, which is crazy, right? With all these Rooney links. The icons are the most steady thing. And as more and more people get coins in FIFA and we have all these new special cards that come out, um, especially some of the future stars, linking those cards together might be a bit of a chore. So later on in the game, as always, we love the icons because they're always the most consistent. They're always in demand by a lot of people in this game. So we love the icons for this Friday, 100%. And then again, speaking on those road to the final or headliner cards, since they are live items, and a lot of people are investing in these for a rise as we get closer to the actual Europa League and Champions League games being played. These guys are going to be fantastic ones to watch that if they drop off, they're going to be a great investment as well. Because these cards, again, have that live item aspect and with the games upcoming and the potential upgrades upcoming, there's a lot of hype around those and could be really good buys if there is panic on the market this weekend. So... The bottom line is with the promo and with future stars coming this weekend, there's going to be a lot of speculation in the next day or two, um, especially with the loading screen with the coordinates. Uh, supposedly, they're like adding uh, players like with these squad updates when you go in, like if you go on the market, you can search new players like Javi Simmons from PSG. Not I don't really know the guy, um, but I supposedly I've heard that he is now searchable in game. Uh, and again, what this promo basically is, is just more special cards being added to the game, um, more options for people to go out and to um, mix up their FIFA Ultimate teams and for EA to sell packs. Now, again, we mentioned this before. There's a lot of people that have saved up FIFA points that weren't able to open packs during Team of the Year. And this is going to be a time where they unleash those leftover FIFA points from Team of the Year they weren't able to open and open some of those lightning round packs. So EA might know that, might put out a lot of extra packs. Again, we're gonna have to check and see the pack weight on these cards. I think I remember last year, like the Friday night with these new promo cards, since there's so much hype 
um, with these guys. It's going to be a fantastic time probably on Friday night to buy these cards and watch them rise into Saturday morning. After all the packs, they drop, they drop, and they rise into Saturday morning because, again, it's just going to be a lot of cards people will be able to insert in their team and, and try out, right? Again, if you take a look at this squad, I keep bouncing back and forth, but... The reason why we don't think this caused a lot of crashing last year and why, why it didn't and, and why it might not cause a ton of crashing this year is because you have players from the top five leagues and some of the, the other leagues, right? You have some air division here. You know, maybe this year they throw in like a league and NOS player. I'm not sure. Um, but it's not just Prem. It's not just, you know, Spanish, not just French, not just Brazilian. You have players from all different positions all across the leagues, right? You've got so many different, you have obviously a lot of Premier League, but you got a Premier League cam, a left mid, a striker. Um, you have a Premier League right back. So you have a lot of different positions being touched here. And this also adds a lot of depth to different positions in different leagues. Uh, I think about the Bundesliga center backs from last year. There weren't many special ones. This Kabak came out and he was very expensive because there weren't many quality special center backs in the Bundesliga. So what kind of positions could be filled this year with the Future Stars cards that come out? That's another interesting thing to kind of look at. So a lot of speculation, a lot of just kind of getting ready. Uh, right now, what can you do with your club? I mean, if you have SBC fodder, I mean, it's honestly, there's going to be some pack supply this weekend with rewards today. You might see fodder dip and then rebound with people wanting to complete Rooney or Bruno Fernandez or uh, of the like, any of those cards. But if SPC fodder is at a super duper duper high point this weekend, I'm not sure where a lot of these SPCs uh, expire. Um, and if we get more SPCs, yes, we will get some supply, but I feel like the demand for the SPCs is higher than the supply, especially if we get some really cool um, future stars SPCs. If we see like some supply during landing rounds, that might be a buy time to then sell later if it goes higher and stuff like that. Um, but if you bought a team, I'll say this, right? If you bought a team, I don't think this has really caused to panic. I don't feel like it's going to be an insane, crazy market crash. The market's still high. The market still has a lot of coins. Team of the year cards are still new and fresh and they're the best in this game. I wouldn't expect a lot of panic on those, but maybe some of your like rule breakers, team of the group stage cards, maybe your record breakers or freeze. You might see a bit of sell off there with people wanting to go and try new items that do come out in FIFA. So that's the video for today, boys. A lot of just kind of thinking preparation. Uh, tomorrow, as we get more information with the loading screen, we'll talk again about what cards we might be seeing and more market movements that we can be prepared for and specifically tackle our Friday moves on the market. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smack a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate's Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.